Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely afternoon or day or really wherever you are when you are watching this video. So pretty much in today's style video, I'm going to be styling a pair of blue jeans. In fact, I'm actually going to be styling the ones that I am wearing right now. So here they are. But you're obviously going to see them in a lot more detail very soon. So I'm going to style them 10 different ways. So pretty much the first five outfits are going to be quite spring, summer inspired. And then the second five outfits are going to be more autumn, winter inspired. So I know we are all in really different temperatures at the moment. So I figured this was a good way to show you guys a little bit of both and hopefully it kind of covers all bases as always i like to just remind you guys that i really do encourage you to look at what you already have in your wardrobe before you go buy new pieces to recreate these outfits i absolutely love to see you guys recreate these looks but definitely feel free to do so using pieces that you already have in your wardrobe before you go buying new things I'm going to get started on this video now and I'll see you guys on the other end. So I have opted to style my row extra high straight leg weekday store jeans in the color sea blue 10 different ways. For me at the moment, these are not only the most versatile jeans I have in my wardrobe, but they are also exactly the style of denim I'm currently gravitating towards. I love how long they are, the cut and the color is perfect. The shape is super flattering around the waist as it sits nice and high and it is also super flattering through the leg. I am also loving a baggier cut at the ankle recently and especially love these jeans with flat shoes such as docks, loafers or sneakers which you will see a lot more of in this video. So starting off with a really simple, chic and easy everyday look, this is the perfect look for those spring weather days. So here I'm wearing my white oversized weekday store shirt, the same blue jeans that I'll be wearing for this whole video, my classic black Gucci loafers and my small black leather croc bag from by far. I love this outfit for popping up to the shops, grabbing coffee with a friend, or even just going shopping for the day, that kind of thing. I think you could really easily recreate this look with any black loafers or slides or any white shirt and any blue jeans that you currently have in your wardrobe. However, I would say that the key to this look is definitely making sure that the shirt is a bit more oversized and a bit more of a loose fit as I think this really adds to that chic minimal vibe. I think if your white shirt is too fitted or too tight, it could very easily become quite officey and it would definitely lose that casual feel to it. I love how loose, long and baggy these jeans are at the bottom. I think it looks really cool how they slouch over the loafers as opposed to sitting above the shoe. This is of course just a personal preference though and if you wanted to see a bit more of your ankle, you could easily roll the jeans up a little bit to create more of a cuff at the bottom or alternatively you could opt for the 30 inch rather than the 32 inch in length. How you style your shirt here is of course personal preference. With bigger oversized shirts like this, you always have the option to tie them up at the front, which creates a bit more of a cropped and summery feel, but alternatively you could tuck the shirt in, which definitely makes the look feel much more polished and much more structured. But given I'm really going for a more relaxed, casual feel here, I have opted to leave the shirt loose and hanging. I always love to add simple gold jewelry to my looks and I think this is definitely essential for outfits such as these where it is much more about the little details as opposed to a really loud statement outfit. Here is another simple, easy, throw on kind of look for spring summer weather. I think this is the perfect look for those balmy nights where it might get a little bit chilly later on so you have your jumper with you just in case. So here I am wearing a black shirt from Arquette, a beige cardigan from Weekday Store, the same blue jeans, my tote bag from In My Moods and my Doc Martens. I really love this short sleeve shirt and I also love that it is in black as I think most would usually opt for a white or a beige or a cream here so having this style shirt in black feels a little bit fresh and a little bit different to me. The material and quality feels really premium and is actually quite thick so definitely more of a late spring early summer piece as opposed to something I might wear in the middle of Australian summer. Once again, I really love the cut of these jeans with this outfit. I love that they are baggy and loose over the Doc Martens and I think the blue here pairs really well with the black and beigey tones from the rest of the look. So sticking with the same shoes and bag, here I'm wearing my white totem singlet, but as I mentioned to you guys last time, you can actually get a really similar one from weekday store, so I'll definitely link both below. My shirt here is from Arquette, but from the men's section and my belt is also from Arquette. Similar to the last look, this is such a comfortable and easy to wear look. I think the belt and the singlet tucked in makes it feel slightly more dressy than the last look, but it is still definitely a casual and comfortable spring summer inspired look. You could easily dress this outfit up further by changing the docks to boots or boot heels instead. And you could swap the tote bag for a black crossbody bag, similar to the one that I'm going to show you in the next look. 
I think the key with this look is that because it is so simple, it could actually work with a wide variety of overshirts in different colors and patterns. So most likely you will already have a shirt in your wardrobe that could be worn with this look. I opted to show you two more styles. So the first one is the same white shirt from earlier, which is from weekday store. This shirt is actually much thinner than the blue one. So perhaps this one is a little bit more summery. And the next one is the white and green stripy shirt from Marquette. I showed you a few different ways to style this shirt in one of my last style videos. So if you want to see that in a little bit more detail, I will include the link for you here. This next outfit I absolutely love for a bit of a 90s throwback. I don't know why, but this outfit reminds me so much of the kind of looks Kat Stratford wore in 10 Things I Hate About You. I love all the tones together and just love how simple and easy it is to wear something like this, especially as the weather continues to warm up. Here I'm wearing my grey cropped singlet from Hibu, which is a Polish brand. The same cardigan as earlier from Weekday Store, my brand new Miss Mimi Furler handbag, and my high top black converses that I always wear. I actually don't wear crop tops that often and usually stick to things which are a little bit longer, but given these jeans are so high waisted, I think this crop top looks super flattering and cute with this outfit. You could easily pop on any crop top, a singlet or tee, and really any color that you have in your wardrobe to recreate this look. And you could also wear this look with any sneakers too. I just would recommend something more slimline, such as the Reebok Classics, Redone sneakers, Converses or Vans, but any shade color or fit would probably work fine. For the last spring summer inspired look, I wanted to include a slightly dressier evening outfit. So here I'm wearing a black singlet from Arquette, the same denim jeans, the same black furla bag as the last outfit, and my black 80s Savannah slingback heels. This is definitely something I would wear to go out for dinner during summer if I wasn't in the mood to have my legs exposed and wear a dress or a skirt. This look is chic, it's simple, it's classic, and it is really hard to go wrong with something like this. I received this brand new furla bag as a gift from the brand this week and I absolutely love it. The size is perfect for the evening and the cut and shape is simple but it is interesting enough that it adds a bit of a unique detail to my outfit. The things I particularly like about this bag is how thick the strap is. I think a lot of the crossbody bags typically have a thinner strap so again this is something that is a little bit different which I love. Once again I love that the jeans are super baggy at the ankle and almost completely cover the shoe and the heel. But if you wanted to have it feel a little bit more polished, you could of course cuff the jeans so more of the shoe was on display. So for the first more autumn inspired look, I opted to wear the same white shirt as earlier, a super oversized men's Arquette jumper in charcoal grey colour. Funny story, I actually bought this as a present for Nick, but decided that I loved it so much, so now it's mine. Anyways, um, obviously the same blue jeans, my black converses, a simple black fella bag, which I've showed you guys in earlier style videos in a bit more detail. I'm seriously obsessed with this outfit, I think because it also feels really fitting with the weather we are currently experiencing in Melbourne. It is quite cold and rainy, but not full on winter vibes, but still definitely cold enough to warrant wearing a shirt and a sweater. So outfits like this have felt really perfect. I know wearing super baggy, oversized looks like this is definitely not for everyone and I think if you didn't want everything to be so baggy, opting for a smaller size jumper on top with the shirt underneath would definitely fix that. I have styled jumpers with shirts underneath on a few of my videos before and I typically would opt for jumpers that sit more just under the fly of the jeans but for this particular look I was just going for a really super baggy comfy fit. So the next outfit is quite a stark difference from the last. This one is much more put together, classic and polished. So here I'm wearing a simple white t-shirt from Redone, same cardigan as earlier, my grey Arquette blazer, a Valentino bag which was a press loan for a shoot I'm doing later this week, and my 80 square toe heeled boots. I love this look for going to an event, grabbing dinner with a friend, or even popping to a lunch meeting when we eventually have those again in Melbourne. This outfit is super chic, comfortable, and classic, and I not only love that the cardigan underneath the blazer adds an extra layer of warmth, but I also love how it all looks together. I love how tonal it all feels and the bag definitely brings the whole look together, making it feel much more fancy and elevated. I've actually been eyeing off this bag in black for a while now online. And although I wouldn't typically opt for a bronzy colored bag like this one, I really do think that this color complements this outfit perfectly. So next up, sticking with the same white t-shirt, I added a low neck black knitted jumper I recently got from Marquette. 
my black square toed boots which I showed you earlier, and my Bottega Paddock cassette handbag. This is such a classic styled but casual everyday outfit for me. It is something I would definitely wear if I was going out in the afternoon and might stay out for dinner as well as it is dressy enough that it could easily be worn during the day or in the evening. The bag and boots definitely help elevate this look from simple to chic. If the day gets a bit cold to just wear a jumper, you could easily add a light woolen coat as well. I recently got this one from Victoria and Woods and it is the perfect transseasonal piece. I love how minimal the shape and design of this piece is and I really do feel it would go with almost every single outfit here you can pop the collar up or you can have it down depending on what else you're wearing that day and what you're vibing I quite like it both ways but I think for this look the collar down probably works best and next up I had to include an all black look as I always do in pretty much all of my style videos I think living in Melbourne my whole life I'm practically programmed to only wear all blacks but it only feels natural to always include an all black look in my videos Obviously here with the only exception being the blue jeans. So I am wearing a black merino wool turtleneck and my black waistcoat which are both from Marquette. The same square toe boots as earlier and my same Bottega handbag. This outfit is really similar to the last look in that it is another very classic, chic, minimal and easy to wear outfit from day to night. If anything, I would say this outfit is slightly even more nighttime inspired as the waistcoat definitely gives it a fancyish sort of feel. I think if you wanted it to be even more formal, swapping the boots for heels or boot heels would definitely help to achieve that. And also adding some dressier style jewelry, such as a thicker gold chain necklace or some earrings obviously help dress it up too. So for the last outfit today, I'm wearing the same long sleeve top I showed you in my last style video, which is from Victoria and Woods. A khaki or olive green vintage blazer, but I will try and link something as similar as I can below. My brown croc leather boots from by far. And I have paired this look with the same filler bag as earlier as well. I really love all the tones in this outfit. It feels very autumn winter inspired and I think they all work really well together. If you wanted to add some extra warmth here, you could easily add a thick winter coat over the top or even add a scarf. And if you wanted to dress down this look, I think mainly swapping the shoes for something a little bit more casual like sneakers or docks would definitely make a huge difference. Thank you guys so much for watching today's style video. I hope you found it enjoyable and inspiring and all the rest of it. If you do happen to recreate any of these outfits, as you guys know, I would love to see that. So definitely send them my way. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!